Hello viewers, welcome to RK Keynotes. Until now, using NetBeans IDE, we have explored seven Java programs that is electricity bill, time distance and currency converter, phase slip program, stack edit using interface, string operations using ArrayList, abstract class and user defined exception. In today's program, we will talk about file properties. So this is also a simple program, same like uh, user defined exception. Um, so uh, the problem statement here is that write a Java program that reads a file name from the user and we need to display the properties like file size, whether it is readable or not, file exists or what, and the length of the file, how many bytes the file, I mean the size of the file, and these informations. So before getting into this, we need to understand uh, the syntax of file and file properties and um, uh, you know how to import this file package so which comes from basically java.io.file and what is util we already explored so many things in util and uh, file methods as I said that is display is exist like uh, so we are going to explore few methods in the program so these are the things you should understand before getting into the program and uh, mm, let's flip to uh, NetBeans for the practical implementation So the program over here, uh, the packages I have imported is that uh, util.scanner because I'm going to take a file input from the user, the name of the file and uh, to create a file uh, I have used uh, import java.io.file uh, superclass so that there is a class name called file demo and uh, main method I'm going to ask user to enter the file name using scanner I'm going to read and I'm going to store that one in string. So to create, I'm gonna, uh, you know, the file f1 equal to new file. So I have passed this uh, string reference into this, and over here we are just going to use the methods to get the complete details. Which means that uh, the first one is like get name and get path, absolute path, and whether the file exists or what is file method is directory can read can write is absolute length and is hidden so we can hide the file also right so <coughs> so these are all the methods I have used uh, to you know uh, display the properties or information about a file so first I'm gonna run this let me run this uh, for example ly.txt I'm gonna mention with uh, the extension you see that initially it is showing that uh, absolute path because this is the path which is going to check uh, in this path this file doesn't exist so it, it, it shows that does not exist and everything becomes false so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna paste yeah over here right so I have just pasted some text document okay in the same name ly so now let's compile this again and I'm gonna rerun this over here so now I'm gonna mention the name ly.txt and you see that now it is showing that uh, the file this file exists file it is a file yes so true and uh, see readable writable and the file is like 1.6 kb I guess so is hidden false if you have hidden the file then it is showing and it will show true so these are the things you can play around with the file properties so this is a simple program um, so let's flip to <coughs> the viva questions for exercise number seven i'm going to reveal the answers for exercise number seven so these are the questions i have given uh, so i request you to pause the video and go through all these answers and these are the questions and answers for exercise number 7 hope you got this and let me move to the viva questions for exercise number 8 that is the questions which we have seen just now so these are the questions I'll be revealing the answers in the next class so yeah so let's explore one more uh, problem here that is we as 
which is related to the file concept mm, that is I'm gonna show you one more thing like uh, how to create a file and write something into the file and how to read the same so I'm gonna use uh, yes, actually there are two kind of streams like byte stream and character stream you might have uh, here in unit number three yeah and um, so what I'm trying to do is that um, first let's create this program which means that uh, I have used java.io.star as I'm, um, as I'm you know using streams into this so this is byte stream and uh, first what I'm trying to do here is that um, in the main method so these are the things I want to write into my file and uh, using file output stream uh, so what I have done is in this name the file is going to get created okay so abcd.txt you can mention anything and uh, and so I'm, I'm just passing this file fos reference into this data output stream so where you can write data into the file I mean this file all right and then just close the connection and uh, catch the exception if there is anything and stack trace element is going to show the current execution uh, you know path all right so I'm gonna run this so if you see this build successful and so over here we have used file output stream data output stream right I'm gonna show you so now we need to read whatever is written in that file so for that what I'm going to use is that mm, the, the class main method here I have used uh, file input stream so I'm gonna read the same file abcd.txt and data input stream right to read the data within that so I have passed this uh, reference into this data input stream file uh, fine and <coughs> here I have set uh, in initially string um, into null and then I'm gonna loop to you know, you know I have used read line because if you use read it will just for example if this is your data if you use read it will first read to and then whenever it encounters space then it will stop reading so for that you need to use read line so that it will read complete thing fine so I have used read line uh, and so until the thing is got false it is going to you know read everything and then just print everything so now I'm gonna run this so that you see this so these are the things which uh, was written in the file and uh, so it is displaying uh, some hexadecimal format uh, for uh, the double and integer value so for that uh, we need to use um, some different super classes in which is available so that we'll be discussing uh, in the upcoming videos so hope you understood this uh, this is just for an experiment I'm just you know explored this so try this one download all this code in the github link and uh, do let me know in the comment section if you have got any queries if you like the video hit the like button and thank you thanks for watching the video